Hi, I'm Fabian and welcome to Proceeding Honor in America. Have you ever purchased a new home and it requires a ton of projects? Well, we sure have. We just purchased this fifth wheel, 377 RLBH. And if you own one, then you'll understand. In the mid bunk, they put a switch in an awkward position. And in this video, we are gonna remove that switch and put it where it belongs. So stick to the end and let's see where that is. Um, got tired of the switch being over here underneath here you walk in this room and then you got to walk in the dark to find a switch here it was very stupid don't know why they did it didn't know what I was doing so I had to try to see what I can make happen and cut another hole in the wall another hole in the wall I had to remove the ceiling fan switch to get behind this wall. Behind this wall is where they have a ton of wires that passes from the basement to the ceiling and also your solar panel wires. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I got the fish. You got the fish. Got the big fish. I don't know, is it as big as your six pounder? Almost seven pound? Look at that. Where's the beam at? Right there. Jeez. Do you have enough wire? No, I got enough wire. Your finger can barely fit through there. You might have to make a bigger hole. You want me to do it? From our last project, I discovered that a razor blade is easier to cut these wall panels. I just wish you could put it on like a, a hook or something and like pass it through. I think you got it though. That sounded promising when you hit that boom. That sounds really promising. You got it, didn't you? No? Oh, I see it. Good job, love. So you had to go behind the panel to get over there. Okay, well that's good to know. So I kind of drilled a hole here in the top. A hole up there? Yep. Okay, go ahead. To pass it to the front to go through the wire connection in the back. And I'll show you that. There's a panel here anyway, so the panel is definitely cover up all of this. Hard to do. It's a tiny spot. All right, I see you. There you go. Bye. Mm. This, of course, is being staple up there, so that's going to be hidden. So you, you won't see those wires. Mm -hmm. so that's so why I'm Back down thing. through here. This is covered up by the BM Pro computer, all the other wires, and all that hoorah. And then he fishes it through the wall over there. So all of these wires will be covered back up with the appropriate stuff. And he'll feed it down 
into this little hole down here. Due to the wall beam, I had to go behind the panel. Now will the wires be in the way when you put that back in? Mm, a little bit? Shit. Okay, alright, and then we cover everything back up, and you'll never know that it even happened. Working in the dark, and you gotta use the light switch for it. So you're cutting, taking the extra wire off to connect it to for the positive and negative. Did you figure out which one you want to be positive, which one you want to be negative? Because I don't know which one is there. It's, it's... So what is that thing called right there? Um, it's just a wire connector. It's just connecting all the positives together, all the negatives together. And that was already in here. Then I just connect this switch to those two wires and lights, so. But where can we buy one of just one side? Uh, mostly RV places. Yay. It did not come with screws. What the heck? Now, isn't that more logical? Why did they do that in the first place? So easy. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to become our Patreon. And don't forget to join our YouTube membership as well. So until next time, keep proceeding onward in your adventures. On the next episode, we continue renovating in the room. Come see what we did. <laughs>